Hello and welcome back to my channel. When I am asking about knowledge, what do you imagine? Probably uh, books or educational programs filled that a lot of useful information. And my next question is how to create it, how to put enough effort to write a book or create a program. This might be a so big task and how to approach it in the right way how to gather, transfer and access information. Even writing an article could be hard if you don't have it, if you don't have an approach and the method of the knowledge management, of how to have it on hand and keep organized. The knowledge management is a, one of the most high demand skills that modern people need, because every day we consume, produce and process so much information in the modern world. And today I will talk about Zettelkasten method that approaches the very neat and very productive way to gather and keep information organized. That solves the really relevant problem how to capture, how to keep and how to approach information that you have. And also how to turn that information into real knowledge and pass it further to the other people. Today I briefly will speak about Zettelkasten in Obsidian and how I use it and the quick start for you if you want to start it as well. The basic Zettelkasten principles is write things by your own words, one note should be a standalone idea and notes should be linked to each other via links. Also, the good idea of Zettel is you don't have a robust tagging or categorizing system. It has no hierarchy under its hood and uh, all organization lays on the idea of being linked. So there is a lot of tools to approach the Zettelkasten. Uh, also, you can use the offline Zettelkasten, but I never tried and never seen someone who did. I personally use Obsidian and I also know that Rome Research is also supports that kind of system organizing. Also, you can keep your little custom in Notion, but it's not the best way to use Notion in my personal opinion. I use Obsidian and that's why it has everything to implement the little custom idea. It has links to connect nodes to each other. It has backlinks in order to see which nodes are connected to that particular idea. It has full text search in order to find everything in your knowledge base. And basic custom principles could be implemented in Obsidian very easily. So let's assume we have our old categorized knowledge base like wiki one or you have like a bunch of nodes spread it around all your system and you want to bring it all to custom organization. Where we should start? Maybe should we start from scratch? As I mentioned in my 11 tips uh, on Obsidian video, you can never start from scratch because you already have something to make it work. So in the beginning let's create a new Obsidian vault. Something like that. Let's place it in desktop. So now we can start to fill up our knowledge base via Zettel custom method. We can start from the our Insta paper notes. Uh, right now I have a bunch of articles that I have highlights in, and we can just go through that and move the knowledge which we gather through that articles into our knowledge base.
So that basically how it works. So you have a knowledge base and after some iteration it will grow, rapidly grow and it's like representation of your second brain. Tell me if you like it and left a comment down below how you organize your knowledge base. Thank you and bye.